in three, two, two, one. Hey, it's a podcast. Hey. 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 <laughs> and so it is the OCD podcast episode two. Deuce. And we happen of to three. have <laughs> all of the members of Orange County Degenerates. Hey, hey guys. Oh, oh my God. God. Okay, so okay. calm down. Here I am. Calm I'm down. Christian. I'm the bassist. Over here to my right hand side is EJ. We have our Hello saxophone guys. players. It's the first time on the podcast. Mike, yeah, we've, uh, finally we, here. We've Thank mentioned him a couple times. Why do you uh, need to, to say it's on, on your my right left. hand? <laughs> 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 right. They can't see us. I. You still forget. <laughs> it's force of habit. Whenever I introduce people when we're playing, uh, uh, when we're playing a show, it's like, oh, to my right hand side, it's EJ. So it's it's force of habit. Okay. Be- give me at fine, least that. Fine. Touche. Because I always forget to introduce myself, so this time I actually <laughs> did. Okay, so give me <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, all right. So we, ha- we also have Dotson, our guitar player. Hey, how's it going? And, of course, we have Nathan, who's hey. on drums and lead vocals. Hey. So this is episode two of our podcast. And if you tuned in last week, we had a podcast. We had a little brief stint <laughs> where we talked about <laughs> EJ. Um, and we talked about EJ uh, during his uh, quote unquote throwback Thursday. He posted a picture of him with his head completely shaved <laughs> off, with his head shaved off, <laughs> <laughs> with his hair shaved off, but he had a arrow <laughs> in the uh, If hair. you can call it that. So um, we'd like to go ahead and put the spotlight on EJ and uh, give him a chance to Re- explain his, his actions, what, he, what, what was going on. It was around Halloween time when uh, I got that haircut. And I figured uh, I was a bit. Well, I'm still a big fan of Avatar: The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra, and um, I wanted to, um, you know, cosplay as Aang during that time period. So I figured, hey, let's try to go visit the barber shop and see if I can, um, you know, get that arrow thing going on. Especially, you know, I wait, thought it was cool. wait, so wait, the, wait. That was done at an actual. That was actually <laughs> that was professionally. You paid wait, for that? Was that really? Yeah, I did actually. Wow. Whoa. And um, when so I don't, um, don't go to that barber shop. When I went to um, <laughs> school the next day, people oh my were God, just no, loving you it. You did not go to school <laughs> the next day with that hair. Yeah, I did. Go to school, actually. Oh and you know God. what? Surprisingly, it was really well received. Although the only person that did not like it was my own mother. So mm. what she For obvious oh, reasons. Yeah. Yes. For obvious reasons. So what she did was uh, drag me to the bathroom, got a razor, and literally Shaved it off. Like just ripped it off. <laughs> Holy shit. It was a very painful <laughs> process. <laughs> Obviously, I'm still alive, but I didn't. Leave on skate. <laughs> <laughs> so you know if like you're on your head you know if you're if you're cosplaying, there are things called bald caps <laughs> and <laughs> paint. <laughs> 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 that way, you know, you can actually have a blue arrow like like the actual the actual show. I was my a question, high school student. My question is, how did you actually get to this barber shot and get this haircut without your mother knowing? Oh no, because I uh, back in the day, this is around like back in the day. freshman year. Yeah. Freshman, sophomore year, I don't remember. But anyways. That was like I two years ago for you? Shut up. That was actually. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, um, <laughs> what is it? I biked around everywhere. A- as you do. As you do. As you do. <laughs> Bike around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah, I was mainly an independent person because my mom was rarely home. So I had, like, if I had to like do something, I had to do it on my own. In this case, I had to go get a haircut. But I had this bright idea. Hey, let's uh, <laughs> do this radical arrow thing. So radical? Thing. Was it radical or radical? I think it was radical because it was radical and cool at the same time, mm-hmm. supposedly. At the time it was. But at now the that time. It, yeah. at it was, it was very well people. received by his peers. Mm-hmm. For so reasons. <laughs> you know, because they're all partially nerds of Avatar. That's Airbender at the time, too. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure we still have uh, current fans of Avatar and Legend of Korra amongst oh, yeah. us today. So I love so the show, but not yeah. that much. Well, speaking <laughs> of Legend of Korra, isn't the season two supposed to be coming out pretty yeah, soon? Yeah, it's supposed to be coming out either th- next month, April, or not totally sure yet. Is it going to be a full it? season? Uh, yes, it is. They're going to be coming out with uh, three more seasons. Wow. Wow. That's wow. A so intense. for a total whopping of like 50 plus episodes. I'm not sure if I can handle the show anymore. Well, because wasn't the first season like 13 episodes? It was like a half season? 12, yeah. Yeah. Because they weren't sure if it was going to succeed or not. Really? Yeah, but uh, Nickelodeon obviously saw a whopping fat success with it, and uh, they said, hey, Mike and, you know, I forget the other creator's name. Mike and Brian, there you go. Mike and Brian. Mike and Brian, uh, you want to give us more? We'll pay you. Give us more. 
Uh, can we just go back to the original Airbender series, please? I'm kind of done with Korra already. The original oh. Airbender series is done. I have actually the, I, I have the DVD box set. You can borrow it. Now to find my mother. Actually, wait, wait what? It's still what? Um, <laughs> actually, the series is still continuing in the comic books uh, oh, by Dark right. Horse Comics. Yeah. And oh. uh, actually, within a few months from now, we're gonna actually find out what happened to uh, Zuko's mom. Oh, cool. So that'll be I completely crazy. forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, where I is, completely where is my forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what's happened with you this week, Nathan? This week, you I, barely uh, ever talk. Oh yeah, well this week I just cleaned up, uh, as you could see, like all of us over here inside the. Uh, well, actually, they, they well, can't. Well, they can't see. They can't see, but all of us inside, um, you know, this whole weekend from uh, Friday to today, basically. We cleaned up the – we remodeled the band room. So it right now it feels a little bit cramped because we still have stuff to throw away. Yeah, we have some junk. We have some yeah. pictures. <coughs> and we have a desk that we need to get rid of. But I think the setup's a lot more balanced now because we, you know, we have the two studio monitors in appropriate locations so you can hear. Then we have you know the, the keyboard in the back so we can compose drums bass amp then we have the guitar amps and stuff everything's in a nice orderly fashion now everything's nice and accessible not like before or as truly was like this office environment with a desk and things in the way you could see it in the um the recording i know video yes. that's our old setup so if you so. go to youtube.com slash orange county degenerates oc degenerates oc degenerates which is uh, yeah. actually that's uh, superfluous because you're actually here now. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're listening to the podcast. If you scroll over to the right hand side, uh, it'll probably show up in our uh, somewhere in our related just, videos. Yeah, if not, or you, you can just go, go to, to our to channel them. and it's the I Know Recording Behind the Scenes video. It's a lot of fun. You know, speaking of which, next week we should probably do some sort of live recording thing. Well, so. I, 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 think, uh, I think you're onto something because I think, uh, you know, the, the point was brought up a little while ago actually by EJ that, you know, we are a band. Um, and the content that we're producing, you know, it's nice and fun and, you know, it's a nice break from the music. Um, but what we'll usually do is we actually hold a rehearsal and we practice, uh, we practice some of our music and then we do a podcast since we're all here anyways. I think, uh, I think what we should do next week is actually have, uh, a bit of a musical podcast, you know, have give you some insight into what we do. Yeah, kind of, uh, kind of do some recording. Hopefully, without blowing the, uh, yeah, the audio can, out. Yeah, we can't <laughs> blow the audio to, out too We have much. to play soft. But we, um, I think what we should do is uh, rec- uh, record via podcast one of our one of our practices. Oh, so mm-hmm. if you uh, if you tune in next week at uh, at this time at this uh, channel, you'll be uh, given a sneak peek into the world of Orange County Degenerates and uh, some of our. Some of our practice sessions. Oh, are we going to play some of our songs that we're currently practicing for the next show? The secret ones? I think so. I think we should uh, give a little preview of, 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 of things to come. Yeah, and speaking of next show, do we have an official date yet? Or April just 19th? still sometime in April? Around it's, April? It's still sometime in April. We still need to hash out the details. Is uh, our target date April 19th? Yeah, that's a but, we're, but we're shooting okay. for around April 19th. Mm-hmm. It's, just a, it's just kind of a, you know, a, a little local thing. Uh, details will be posted on facebook.com slash OC Degenerates. Yeah. Hopefully by today. Yes. Well, actually, facebook.com is Orange County Degenerates. Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, Facebook, Facebook is the, o- the full name. You're out of your element, right, so <laughs> <laughs> Facebook.com <laughs> slash oh, Orange element? County Avatar. Uh, uh, bitch, I master all four elements. <laughs> wow. You didn't master the haircut element. <laughs> 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 GG. <laughs> oh man, that was a good one. <laughs> Wait. Oh, well, I got a, I got a story actually from this last weekend. Yeah, okay. So, uh I'm at a family function. We're at a park and we family decides to play football, right? Football. So, uh like uh like with the f- f- football with an actual like pigskin like football, foot, football, you know. Football? Foot, football americano. Foot, oh. oh, football americano. Football americano. Okay. And Goal! Uh, <laughs> So, uh, me and my dad are on opposite teams. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> right? Again. So, so, me and my father are on opposite teams. Like the Gecko Gecko, right? Can I ever tell a story? 
is this is this your guy? <laughs> is this, uh, I think this is your stigma, this man. Is your, uh, this is your troll. Whenever I go to tell a story, just what? interjections every three words. Gotcha. <laughs> Nobody interrupted you there. <laughs> well, that wasn't part of the story, was it? Oh, that's true. <laughs> so we're on opposite teams. So, th- so you're versus the Geico Gecko. Yes, then. the Geico Gecko. Okay. So me and my dad are on opposite teams, <laughs> and uh, they decide to put me against my father on defense. And I'm like, oh, I got this. You know, he's like, you know, 50. I can handle this. And like the first like four plays of the game, I got him like all over. Like I'm all over him, fine. I'm, I'm covering him perfect. And then he does this play. He just runs out. He turns around and fakes catching it. And they pump fake. And I like jump in front of him. And he just starts dashing away. And <laughs> he gets a touchdown. And I'm just. And he comes up to me like, "How's it feel to be schooled by an old man?" <laughs> <laughs> wow. It felt pretty bad. <laughs> Props to your dad. Wow. That. That's pretty yeah, impressive. Right? <laughs> See, that would be owned. more impressive if I knew what you're talking about because I don't play sports. So <laughs> I'm just like. Fake pump, jump. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. If I could have a visual of this. <laughs> oh, if there was a video, I'm sure uh, <laughs> it would be really embarrassing. <laughs> While we're continuing this weekend thing, so um, after the podcast, um, I went back, did some, you know, music business. Uh, had to. Oh, this is your things. story. I thought you were oh, yeah. talking about something next week. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. no, no. Yeah, my story. My story. Okay. Why okay. he left. And this he is their there. story. Okay, so because I had to like. Re- do some repairs on my horns because uh, the Saturday after the um, Saturday after last Thursday, um, I had to go to Cate Long Beach for a classical audition. So I a Costco w- edition, classical audition <laughs> oh. for his Costco membership card. Uh, uh, you yeah. have to audition Costco now. Is a, Costco is pretty harsh on their membership then. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, man. I got rejected on one and accepted on the other. It's weird. So no Sam's Club for you then. It's <laughs> 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 tragic. So but sorry. okay, in all seriousness though, um, so I went in um, as a prospective music ed major uh, auditioning on classical alto sax and classical bass clarinet so i did my thing out there and they liked my bass clarinet better than my alto sax wow so i'll be coming into cal state long beach next semester as a bass clarinet i thought you were going so so does that mean that uh Mm -hmm. does that mean that oc degenerates is no longer we, we no longer have Saxophone, it's now bass oh, clarinet. No, no. So oh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be only playing bass clarinet during um, classical and jazz thing with ska. It's still sax. But I do want to experiment with bass clarinet in the future because it is a pretty hip instrument. It just doesn't have projection. That's the reason why I don't use it in our jam sessions. You heard it here first, guys. Bass clarinet is a hip it's instrument. It's a hip instrument. <laughs> Marcus Miller majored So all it. you cool cats out there. Go out this instrument's the uh, bee's knees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's yeah. copacetic. And so immediately after my audition at Cal State Long Beach, I actually drove over to UCSD to meet with... Uh, okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You drove all the way from Long Beach to San Diego? Yeah. Just to hang out. And uh, I had to see the vagina monologues at UCSD, which was a great show, by the way. It was really hilarious. I've actually Man, seen parts of that, uh, that show. That must have been a really good friend. <laughs> For you to drive all the way down <laughs> yeah. to San Diego, <laughs> well, we all got a few. Times. I, I might take like a small airplane to San Diego. <laughs> you know, like a small, rent like a, a biplane, like a paper plane. <laughs> well, regardless of how, uh, regardless of how you got there, how was the uh, how how was the performance? The performance of the vagina monologues is very <laughs> hilarious, very you know heart wrenching and very uh, provocative and obviously and with uh, a name <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. At moments, very erotic and arousing. Obviously, with a name like that. And uh, and the friend that I came to see in particular, she did a really good job of portraying um, different (laughs) age. (laughs) Oh, Oh, I get it now. Her character was um, talking about her (laughs) where... (laughs) Wait. (laughs) Wait. Mm, Excuse me. Yes. Yes. (laughs) You can laugh. Go ahead. No, but um, basically her role in the vagina monologues is to portray like this aging woman starting from like the age of like maybe five, and then, like, as each uh, scene progresses, she gets older and older, and she has to change her character as she gets older. Not to mention, like, her voice starts off really high, and as she goes deeper into her uh, set, she gets lower and lower in the voice, and deeper. it gets more serious as the play gets on. <laughs> I'm just going to start mentioning every single word now. <laughs> but, yeah, right um, if you guys ever get the chance to, if it's ever in town, check out the Vagina Monologues. It's a really great show, and it gives some really good insight, um, insight. From the <laughs> into a woman's uh, sexuality and mind through and into yeah, the woman so pretty great <laughs> and then after that partied it up with the vagina <laughs> warriors and then um <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah ej you seem to be really into orifices today <laughs> 
Man. It's a beautiful thing. UCSD is uh seems like a hip place. <laughs> Indeed it it's is. It's the bee's knees. It's all you cool or cats. Or the beavers. Out there. <laughs> right. It's Anybody the beaver's beaver. dam. Wow. It's the beaver's <laughs> dam. It's the cat's pajamas. Yeah. I've never heard that phrase. Cat's pajamas? So anyways, it's the beaver's oh, the beaver's dam. dam. Yeah. Christian, so what about you? What happened to you? What, what, happened, what happened to, to you? What happened to you? What yeah. happened to me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I heard you were kidnapped and uh I was held for ransom <laughs> and you know, we had to use all the O C D fund to to pay the All the five dollars. All yeah. three cents of it. I we I almost didn't I almost didn't survive. It was uh it was really scary. <laughs> all right. Well, that's Christian's story. <laughs> yeah, nice story. Yeah. yeah. Cool story, bro. What about this uh this uh Vegas thing? Was that last weekend? That was that was, that was last. Yeah, you guys last talked last about last that. Talk you guys about talked about that, that last my podcast. Bad. I Man. even though I wasn't there, I just somehow knew that. Okay, look, <laughs> I, I was really tired. I, I stayed at the Aria. Aria. Uh, it's one of my favorites. The Aria. I um So this is uh this going to get a little uh, I don't want to say technical, but it might get a little uh, off-putting for people who don't like to gamble, but I have a system. Whenever, whenever I'm at Vegas, <coughs> I could usually play in the casino on a single twenty-dollar bill for a couple days for the duration of my of my vacation. Impressive. So what I do is, <coughs> if I so happen to have the desire to play a slot machine, I always choose one that has like a bonus or you know extra reel or free spins or something. And it always feels right. It has to feel right to me. It's very superstitious. Feels. And what will happen is I'll either <laughs> oh I'll either get the bonus and I'll walk away with extra money or I'll lose. And what I'll do is if I start to lose a lot, <coughs> God damn it. you know, I'll cash out and I'll go to one of the digital roulette machines. And this is where the system comes in. You bet $2. One chip on the left column, one chip on the right column. Now, if if the ball lands on any of those numbers in the columns, you get your you get your money back two to one, so you'll get back two dollars and fifty cents if you win. So you're going to be up by fifty cents, and this is how I always end up playing with a twenty with just twenty dollars, you know, with just a twenty dollar bill, because I'll put it in, I'll put in whatever money I have left from my losses from the slots, and I'll play, one on the left, one on the right. If I lose, if it hits the center or double zeros, then I'll double up. So I'll put two dollars on the left and two dollars on the right. And then when I win, I'm I break even again, and then hmm. I keep playing. So it's to me, it's probably one of the surest odds in Vegas. It takes a long time though. It's the yeah. slow play. That's the thing. You're not going to hit any jackpots playing, you know, playing columns, but. You get your money. You back. get your money back. It's as guaranteed as Vegas can be. So why don't you just do that, and just keep playing until you get twenty dollars, so you could just pocket your twenty and you could just play with free money. Oh, that's that's what I do sometimes. I'll <laughs> actually just keep playing until <laughs> okay. until I double my money. <laughs> uh, actually, when I came back, I came back. Uh, I think maybe fifty dollars richer. Hey, I was up fifty bucks. Not bad. It's not a jackpot, but. Playing the slow play on roulette, yeah, that's <laughs> that's kind of impressive. You had a lot of time on your hands to get fifty dollars to do uh, roulette style. But there are some people who um, they'll play the tables, and usually the minimum is about ten dollars, and they'll play. And I've heard stories of people amassing a thousand dollars in one night playing in that style. Hmm. Because I'm all they do is they just keep doubling up every time they lose. It takes a long time though. And not yeah. to mention, like, if you're doing it in real life, you also have to deal with the dealer, don't you? Or am I just tripping? Like, what? The dealer's going to be like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> oh, touche. <laughs> Stop <laughs> playing <laughs> intelligently. I'm, playing, yeah. I'm probably thinking the wrong game. Well, the thing is, the thing is, I was playing, I, 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 I brought up the nerve to, I got up the nerve to, to play at the table. And the, the, the table minimum was $10. But, and I asked the dealer, he was a really nice guy, I asked the dealer, I go, so can I just put a five dollar chip and a five dollar chip? And he goes, "Oh, if you're playing anywhere on the outside, you have to bet a ten dollar chip." Hmm. So I had to play twenty dollars essentially. So every spin of the ball, every throw oh, of the man. ball, was a twenty dollar ante for me. Ooh, man, I was sweating bullets because I used to <laughs> I'm used to playing the one dollar machine, right? <laughs> yeah. So you know, so I play. I go, okay, fine. I'll go ahead and put down twenty bucks, ten dollars on the left, ten dollars on the right. Go and spin it, and he spins. Is it double zero? 
and it rolls a two right there in the middle column. No. I go, shit. <laughs> and I go, well, no guts, no glory, right? So I throw down another Doubled. 40 bucks. Oh, wow. And I put 20 on the left, 20, <laughs> 20 on, on the right. right. So I'm already in the hole, <laughs> 60 bucks, okay? Oh, man. <laughs> and he spins the ball. He, he throws the ball, and it lands on a three, my lucky All number, right. Yeah. right there on yeah, the right-hand column. I get $60 back. And I go, well, thanks. Money. I'm done playing. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was sweating. I was like, oh, my God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose 60 bucks right off the bat. <laughs> and I walked away $60. Uh, I, I, I walked, walked away, away even. Your, yeah, with your money back. Yeah, with my money back. Not bad. Um, but generally speaking, the dealers will always be pretty nice. Uh, first time I, I went to Vegas uh, to gamble. I made the mistake of playing blackjack at the Bellagio. Uh, oh, uh, shit. And that's, you know, $15 minimums on a good day. Yeah. I think I was playing a $25 minimum table because it was the Bellagio. The, at the time, the city center hadn't been built, which is the new, the new property on the, um, on the Strip. But at the time, it was just the Bellagio. And I was playing blackjack. I lost $200 in the span of like five minutes. Holy yep. crap. Dang. The dealer was nice enough. Because he taught me how to play, went to bet, insurance. He taught me the rules. But I didn't know how to play. You know, counting to 21 seems like an easy thing, but there is a science <laughs> behind <laughs> playing multi deck blackjack. Yeah. Oh my God, multi deck? Okay. There's mm -hmm. like five to 10 decks, right? Yeah. Uh, depending on the casino. There are still some casinos out on the strip that play single deck. I think um, Paris has a. Um, has a pool of tables that play single deck, um, except they have scantily clad women who deal, so you're probably looking at something else rather than <laughs> counting the cards. <laughs> That's how they get around it. Um, but the Aria Casino is really nice. It's um, really friendly dealers, really nice amenities, um, you know, great place. And it's all part of uh, this community called the City Center. So there's the Aria, there's the Mandarin Oriental, which I think their rooms go for like six hundred dollars a night. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, it's luxury. And then more there's luxury also than the Aria? Yes, much more luxury than the Aria. Oh, holy crap. And then there's also Vidara, which is a non gaming hotel. So is the Mandarin Oriental. And then there's the Veer Towers, which are condominiums. So if you want to live on the strip, you can live there as well. Jesus Christ. And then next door oh I'm sorry, and then there's also a shopping center called Crystals. And it's a um, luxury shopping center. Uh, they say uh, their part. One of their claims to fame is actually that some of the stores that they have there is are the only stores in North America, uh, or pretty much the only stores outside of Europe. And they have things like Bali and Louis Vuitton, and uh, I think they have the biggest Louis Vuitton store in North America. Dang. Uh, and then they also have uh, Tom Ford. And they have all these luxury boutiques, um, in just in that in that shopping center. That's how luxurious the you know, quote unquote luxurious the um, the city center is. Next door is another hotel called the Cosmopolitan. Uh, we joined the players club there, and we got free slot play and everything. And I walked away ten dollars richer from the slot play. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait. With the free uh, members club thing, do you also get like a free buffet too? It depends on what the promotion is. Well, for um, for Cosmopolitan, you got five dollars free slot play. Uh, there is a casino that is in San Diego, the Valley View Casino. Valley View. Oh, I passed if that on the way back. Yeah, oh. if you join their players club, there's a free lobster buffet. And then, uh, pretty much every casino will give you free drinks. Yes, if you're playing. That's yeah. the, that's that is the. Uh, I can't really say it's one of the greatest secrets, but it's it's a it's a nice way to keep you in the casino spending your money <laughs> because if you are sitting at a slot machine with some money in the slot machine i, I mean hell sometimes you don't even have to have money in the slot machine you just have to be sitting there the and uh, the waitresses walk around and goes oh drinks cocktails blah blah, blah. You get yourself some free water free beverages you know free soft drinks free liquor uh mind you it's all well but um hmm. so it tastes like dirty socks but <laughs> <laughs> you know it's That's where you just get the soft drinks. Yeah, I, get, oh, I always no get the way. water. Got to get the hard liquor, free liquor. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Run but out of some old man socks. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, I'll have some, a uh, little whiskey. A little whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? 
Oh, it's uh, you know, well. Oh, thanks. Uh, what so is well? It's pretty much it's kind of like the house um, the the house liquor. It's oh. the cheapest liquor that they can that they can provide. Because well. then, if you're looking for a good liquor, you're looking for top shelf. Yeah. So if you think about it, top shelf is at the very top. Oh, of the and, bar, then the well and then the well, well is like at the bar. very bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. Oh, but, so what funny. they serve is well. It's well drinks, but it's free. And you can, if you're nice, which you should be, tip your waitress because you know she doesn't have to be giving you drinks. So for those of you who are over 21, go to Vegas. And uh, tip your waitress. Tip, tip <laughs> your waitress. <laughs> I was supposed to go to Vegas uh, around in April for my uh, good friend's birthday, but you have so many good friends. Yeah, wow. Yeah. I'll anyway, drive to Vegas the for this friend. USTD, right? Uh, USTD. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> um, no, no, but for all the um, the vagina monologues, like <laughs> STD, really. <laughs> I had really? this weird thing with um with this good friend of mine um. Like I'd always missed out on his birthday due to like some sort of music gig that I had. You like, say you always bitched out on his no, birthday. No, <laughs> 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 yeah, dude. Right I'm sorry, I can't make it. Right I gotta bitch right out. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> no, because like um, during high school, like we'd have like these great birthday parties, but um, during his actual birthday weekend, I would always be gone to like uh, Reno, Nevada, or something, doing like the jazz festival over there. And this year, um, I'm gonna be in LA doing a jazz festival over there, while there uh-huh. my friends are gonna be in Vegas. Wow, so it's the op- it's the other way around. L.A. Yeah, so that's tragic. LD. And then, oh, speaking of me traveling <laughs> to a jazz festival, I'm actually uh, going up to Monterey, California, <laughs> in, during the first weekend of April. So that's pretty exciting. And uh, I yeah. hear they have a uh, tremendous clam chowder. Where at? Monterey. Monterey Bay. Yes. I hear their risotto is delicious. It is tremendous. tremendous. I don't know what you're talking about. I've had clam chowder on the East Coast. Nothing really beats that. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. There is a there is a place. It's kind of this hole in the wall it in San Francisco, uh, up in, up uh, in no, Pismo no. Beach. Pismo Beach. Oh, I it's can't called ra- the Blue Oyster. I like think is it or the, the blue, blue Clam or something like that? Something like blue that. Blue Oyster. Look it up. Yeah. Look it up online. Wait, wait, wait. We have we, we, yeah. we have the internet. I, I think the it's the called the Blue Oyster and uh, like the Blue Oyster cult. Like, don't fear the Reaper. Yeah. And la, oh my la, God, la. their clam chowder is amazing. Well, I need to try that then. Yeah, you have to go up north a little bit. I think it's Central California. Ish. Yeah. I've uh, I've had clam yeah. chowder at San Francisco. That was pretty good. But I have not had a clam chowder better than the ones I've had on the East Coast yet. Oh no, the uh, the clam chowder at uh, is it called the Blue Oyster? I think it's just called Oysters. Huh. huh. In Pismo Beach. That sounds yeah. familiar, actually. Oysters. Let's see here. I'm looking it up. Looking it up. Pretty sure it's called Blue Oyster. But uh, I don't think it's called Blue Oyster. Or the Blue Clam. I know Blue is in there. I'm sure. I'm so sure Blue is in there. The Blue Moon. No. No. (laughs) But their clam chowder is tremendous. Did you find it yet? Well, apparently there's this thing that keeps popping up. It's called Splash Cafe. It's next door to Splash Cafe. Is it next door to the Splash Cafe? (laughs) Yeah. I remember because that... um, the Splash Cafe. The Splash We never went there only because we ate at the the Clam Chowder the Place. The Clam Chowder Place. And Splash Cafe, it, w- it was like a, um, it was seafood, but uh, we just wanted the Clam Chowder. So, and apparently their Clam Chowder was decent, but not as good as the blank. The Blue Oyster. I'm going to call it the Blue Oyster. The Blue Oyster. Cool. Didn't you like look at a map or something like that? That's actually what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> I'm oh, looking okay. up at a map. To see what's next door to the Splash yeah. Cafe. And speaking of the Splash Cafe and next door to it, there was also the exotic candy uh, store. Just where like they sell or on crack or something? Something? No, they, s- no. they sell <laughs> exotic candies. and um, Like Swiss chocolate? Chocolate-covered crickets. Chocolate-covered oh. crickets. Chocolate-covered oh. uh, worms. I'd be down for the deep worms. Deep-fried caterpillars, what? I uh, think. Yeah. And... Uh, I I didn't want to try it out, but my dad did, and uh, apparently, wait, what was his quote? He, he got a chocolate covered cricket, I believe, and he said it tastes like chicken, like everything else, right? <laughs> tastes like chicken, <laughs> <laughs> and ugh, that was the most disturbing thing I've ever so seen. Chocolate with chicken. Hmm. I don't know. There's those Mexican candies that have like spiders and lollipops and stuff. Like yeah, <laughs> but uh, a fry like. Uh, never. It's it's just looking at it and then <laughs> just eating it. 
It's like a fear factor kind of thing. Speaking of fear factor, I wonder like if there was any Filipino that went on when there was balot as like the. Eat oh, that's thingy. I know that's what we always see. It's like fear factor, and then you just go to the Philippines. They do that all like every day. Mm-hmm. It's their every everyday thing. I don't know, they man. Swim in a in a pile of snakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they eat duck <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Is that what we do? We just hang out and swim in snakes <laughs> and yeah. eat duck eggs. Is that what Filipinos yeah. do? I exactly. couldn't be Filipino. <laughs> I I am very afraid of snakes. Indiana Snakes. Jones, huh? Yeah. Oh, nice. Indiana Jones. And uh, I remember one time watching Fear did Factor. You sh- did you shoot first? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember I was watching a Fear Factor, and this guy, they had the ghost peppers. The the, bo- uh, the boot jalokia. Uh, yeah. Or yep. was it the naga jalokia at the time? Uh, Naga, I believe it was. Ah. And uh, <laughs> Ghost chili. And they had two of them. And he had to eat both of them, Ooh, one after the other. Stupid. And oh man, that guy's face after he ate them. Do you ha- did he have <laughs> milk? They no. He had okay. to wait like fifteen minutes to get anything after. Woo! That's. Yeah, I once entered a uh, an eating contest, and it was a hot dog injected with the boot jalokia, dude. You're with a soul. boot jalokia sauce on top. Oh my god. And they were marinated in Vujalokia peppers. Did you did you try it out? Yeah, I, I entered it and I got down two and a half hot dogs. The winner oh, ate three. And then he immediately oh. exploded. <laughs> I, I I got a lot of milk and I drank <laughs> a car bomb afterwards and that car helped bomb. a lot. Dang. Wow, good job. Well, what's a car uh, bomb? Actually the alcohol helped quite a lot. It's scientifically not supposed to. Yeah. But sure. I, Maybe cause maybe it was just the you're out of it. Because <laughs> you're out of it, it's like oh, I don't feel well, pain I don't know, anymore. Maybe it was the Bailey's. Yeah. The cream might have maybe helped. that m- that might have been it because it's the, um, it's milk and the the oils and enzymes in milk. Yeah. Oh, I also ate a tomato, it. which uh, apparently helps a lot. Eating a raw tomato. Sure. Yeah, so I sure. guess I never heard of that. Yeah, one, but I've it never helped. Heard of that one. It helped a lot. We'll have to we'll have to look into that. Yeah, so you got it right there. With that said in mind, though, uh, I'm pretty sure that Dawson can definitely handle the death taco and the zombie taco in uh, a place in Lakewood called Genki Yaki, where they're notorious for serving. Well, Genki Yaki? Genki Yaki. Genki Yaki. Dude, I'm going to say it right now. The the three days following that challenge were hell on my body. Weird. If you want to, if you want to know what the term "fire shits" is, <laughs> <laughs> eat some of those peppers. <laughs> You'll know. It's literally like pooping magma. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, dude. dude, that sucks. Okay, like, okay, I have a spicy food story. So, um, okay, so <laughs> I was at this time I was recruiting to join the army at this time period. What? What? Yeah, we're gonna join the army. Is this the, the same army? time where you had the arrow on your head? No, <laughs> no. What are you doing here, son? <laughs> I want to join the army. Straighten out my life. I'm the avatar, <laughs> <laughs> master of all the elements. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, but anyway, so this is actually you had to learn how to metal bend. Two years ago, actually. <laughs> oh, wow, two years. Anyways, so I was getting frustrated with all the whole like registering process for the army. So I decided to uh, meet up with some friends after uh, at this. Uh, place called Genkiyaki where they serve uh, fusion of Japanese and Mexican food. <laughs> and uh, they had this thing on the menu called the Death Taco. So it was $2, but... Um, I thought you were going to say it was $2 stuffed in a burrito. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But basically it had like... Um, like you can buy this taco, but it had like a set of rules on the wall. Like saying... Rules. Oh, dang. Yeah. Like saying, uh, once you eat this, you can't leave the establishment for 15 minutes. You can't eat or drink anything after uh, during the 15 minute time period. Is this for the challenge, or is this just straight up like warnings after you eat? This, this is warnings. warnings. Don't leave. Yeah. Warnings. Warnings. Because you might pass out. Mm-hmm. What the heck? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. They're probably boot looking. And then uh, it said on the wall, it said, "No falcon punching," or uh, or basically. <laughs> 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 Did I say that? No falcon. No punching. Oh no! Oh no! Actually, no. no. <laughs> Wait, let me twist that. It says basically said. Uh, once you eat this, you'll experience the need to falcon punch the owner. Um, like horrible. Did, is that what they actually said? Falcon punch? Yeah, falcon punch the owner. Wow. 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 You know, because um, the restaurant is owned by some really young dudes, so they're really hip to all like you know nerd oh, okay. culture. There's that hip word again. It's all you cool cats out there. <laughs> no, falcon you should just change the um, the word hip to uh, what was it? Bass clarinet. Oh yeah, yeah. It was very bass clarinet. <laughs> very true. 
<laughs> and I actually have a video of me eating said death taco, which I have in my computer somewhere. We're gonna need didn't that. Didn't you wipe your eyes yeah. like after you, when you were crying and you wiped your eyes yes, with I the did. sauce? Yeah. And like, oh my <laughs> god! I remember that video. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're, gonna need, we're gonna need that for the link dump. So yeah, definitely. Send that. Send that over to us. Okay, yeah. Is there any way to have it just playing in the background of the video as it's uh as he's talking about it, like yeah. him eating it? Let's do that. Yeah, I'm that sure would be amazing. Way. Yeah, yeah that so would be really be, funny. Yeah, you give me the file because, oh man, I want to watch that. I think it's, sure it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Is it really? Yeah. No, wait, no, it's no, okay. It's not, no, it's no? on my phone. Only. Oh. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Send it to us, and then we'll embed it into the actual uh, into the podcast. While and you're telling let's, the story. Let's go. Let's go and take a moment to. Uh, to watch it. There you go. I'm nervous now. So I have to finish EJ, it. EJ, eat the death nervous, taco. Finish finish Are you ready? Go. Oh my gosh. Go. 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 Shove that shit in. Solo. <laughs> Solo. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. That's kind of gross. <laughs> Don't drink anything. Don't drink anything, remember? No matter how bad, don't drink anything. It's gonna gonna make it worse. Okay. That's a good amount. We didn't finish it all. I don't blame him. Are you okay? Ah! Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom and. Guys, you drink something. Oh my god. What do you say? Can you drink something? Oh my god. So we're back. Uh, go ahead and finish up your story. Um, no, you know, just basically all the tragedy and hell. I was pissed off as hell. Not to mention that I had to go to a gig right immediately after. That you're moment. an <laughs> idiot. Yeah, you're an idiot. You're so stupid. <laughs> I hope it wasn't one of our gigs. No, no, it was, he didn't uh, know it was I had fun. to go over to um, Cabrillo High School to um to the vagina monologues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the US S T D. No, the um, US S T D US US It's a boat. No no it's a boat. It's a boat. US S T D. The US S T D It's it's the USS touchdown. Come on guys. Okay. Uh, oh my god guys. Anyways, so <laughs> I was playing with the uh, Long touchdown. Beach Viking show in band the Navy. on bass clarinet because I forgot my tenor sax at school uh, at this on, time hip, right? on hip. On, on hip, hip on hip on hip yeah I played on my hip <laughs> and then after that, they asked me to join the Long Beach Viking band for a little bit, and that was a fun time until. Oh, and it all comes full Viking. circle: boats, Vikings, <laughs> bam. The USS TD. The USS, the USS TD. USS TD. It's a Viking boat where they play the blaze. The blaze. <laughs> the blaze. They, they play the they, hip. Where they pay the hip. They play the hip. Play the so very bass clarinet. Every single time you play, it seems like in your stories, every time you play the bass cl- clarinet, 
you get accepted into something. Yeah, right. Are you sure you're a saxophone player? <laughs> <laughs> did, did we did we bring on the wrong the wrong <laughs> band member for, for O C D? <laughs> no, it's just that it's just a very uh, lucky instrument. You know what's funny though, actually? Um I got in I got um what is it? I got accepted into the Long Beach All District Orchestra on bass clarinet. There we go again. There we go. Yeah. Bass clarinet. Wow. And then I eventually on the hip. Um, played on the hip. uh one uh, one or two concerts with the Long Beach Symphony Orchestra. That's the, pretty much the legit professional orchestra of Long Beach. So I'm pretty sure yeah. it's going to have to go, hey, I'm Christian. I play the bass. Over here to my right is EJ. He plays bass clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsen plays guitar and Nathan plays No, no, no. no. I, I play the strings. You play the strings. He plays strings. Yeah, I play the You play the tiny strings. I play the big strings. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, um, I, I can't. Thin. No, there's nothing on, on mine. Drum set. You bang the sticks. I bang the sticks. He he bangs. Percussion. I I bang. <laughs> she I moved. B- she moved like she bangs. <laughs> if you think <laughs> the hip is cool, wait till you see the contra hip. The contra <laughs> hip. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, I I got it immediately. Yeah, we got it immediately. The Good contra jogging. bass clarinet. Yeah. Oh. The contra hip. Yeah, the contra hip. You know, the up bear? up down down yeah, left it's right left right. Taller than me, actually. It is the super. Hip. Super Saiyan? Yeah, pretty much a good <laughs> It's the super Kamen Guru. So it, it, go, it, it dubsteps? <laughs> yes, yeah, it, it, yeah, it dubsteps. <laughs> 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 like <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, okay. okay. That is uh, that is a bass clarinet wrestler right there. Goes one octave lower than that. N- they can't hear that. Yeah. But that's what you guys do. That's, 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 that's what he wrote. That's what he wrote on the keyboard. It's so low that only dogs can hear it. <laughs> Wait, that's that's not that's the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> it's so low only cats can hear it. That's the opposite <laughs> of dogs, right? Yeah, the opposite of dogs is cats. Yeah. And the opposite of mice is mouse. So th- does anyone play Halo? Halo nope. four up in here? No. Halo. We're the only ones. Halo, halo. No. We're the only ones. Yeah, yeah, we're the only ones. That's lame. I'm not a fan of first person shooters. So do you remember um Wow, <laughs> high five that? Wow. <laughs> I, I played Modern Warfare two and that was it. Wow. No. I got my ass no. kicked in Halo. Nah, no, I'm a oh, I played Two Rock though. Oh well, I guess I Oh Torok. Oh my god, you don't know fear until you're running from a T Rex in Torok. Which one? The, the evolution. first one. Oh, no, the first evolution. one when you're running from the T Rex on the on the N64. N64 yeah. God. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I think what we got was Turok Seeds of Evil. Oh, I I played it on yeah, the oh Game Boy. That was a pretty bad game. There was, was a Game a, Boy was Color a game. game of I like Seeds Turok of Evil. 2 better as a multiplayer game. So, hey, but yes, continue on so with So, Halo. Uh, Halo. Um, when you pick up the oh, Overshield. I'm Master Chief. Overshield. Overshield. I've got and then, more HP. And then what immediately came into our minds was garbage day. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I was I was browsing the internet. I was surfing the internet uh, earlier today. Did somebody and I was l- I was actually listening to another podcast. I was listening to the Internet Box podcast, one of their older ones. Um actually no, that's not a, that's n- that's not where it, um <coughs> Okay, the story starts off. I was listening to the podcast and I so happened to stumble on the YouTube account of one of the podcasters there. And there was a video that he posted called uh Garbage Shield. <laughs> and I was like, "What the hell is this?" So I click on it and I watch it. And then it's it's a screen cap of him picking up an overshield and then now they're going Overshield, <laughs> and then he immediately switches over to uh, the movie. What was it Silent Night, Deadly Night? And then the guy goes, "Garbage Day," <laughs> and then it switches over again. Overshield, <laughs> Garbage Day, <laughs> Overshield, Garbage Day, Garbage Shield. <laughs> so I'm like, and I'm thinking, oh my god, I'm not the only one. Who yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be in the link dump. We'll uh, we'll show you both both videos if you've never heard of uh, Silent Night Deadly Night. It's actually a series of very bad movies, and there's actually a uh, a compilation of very bad movies: um, Worst Death and uh, Horse Drifting. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. That one was fun. If you want to see some bad uh, horror gaming, you should watch some of the Retsu Play stuff. 
when they're let's playing these horrible, <laughs> horrible horror games. Retsu play. This is the second time I've heard you talk about this. What's, what's you don't know who play? Retsu play I've is? I've never heard of that. Oh before. my god! Have you seen Mystery Science Theater? Yeah. Imagine that, except these three guys are watching a dude do a let's play and commenting oh, on no. that. So. <laughs> Oh, oh, I cannot believe! Like I have not. You heard need of to that. okay. Uh, to start you off, you need to look up a video called "Let's Have a Carriage Ride," and it's uh this obviously British let's player playing Mario. Mario. Mario sixty four. Good job, Mario! And uh, the the guy's voice is just like he's actually a really good player. They even uh, say it throughout the video. Oh, wow, this guy's really good at this game, but his voice is just too funny. <laughs> you need to watch this video. So it's that's, gonna, that, that's gonna be hilarious. the link up as well. Mario. Mario, Mario, and thanks, Mario. <laughs> he he literally, and then he like he starts like going into like Bowser. Whoa, 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 whoa. You've passed my evil test, Mario. And he like he makes like a a fan fiction out of the end of this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even lying. Yeah, Thanks, Dalton. <laughs> Thank you, Dalton, for the story. Thanks, Nathan. That was an awesome story, Mario. I'm surprised <laughs> we didn't interrupt him that time. It was too funny. Uh, because I, I literally, I actually wanted to hear what the yeah what the rest of the story was. It turned oh, well, out thanks. It was a shitty story, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I, pro- I probably should have interrupted it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so are you saying the rest of Dalton's stories are shitty then? Yes. I'll shit on your stories. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> since, uh, since the day I met him, he's been shitting on my stories. <laughs> That's some tragedy, man. You need some help with that. <laughs> what, <laughs> shitting on my stories? <laughs> 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 Jesus. <laughs> Wait, cleaning I, up this shit. I think man. he was offering you a hug or something, by no, the way. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, you've been great. I, I just looked at the time. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's uh, about time to wrap up here, isn't it? Yeah. Yo, yo, my name is Dotson, and I, oh, not that kind. Rap, <laughs> W-A-R-P. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, guys, we've got to get on the warp star. Here we go. We're n- we're not we're not editing that out. No. <laughs> w A R B rap. What? <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing last week. <laughs> what was it? Loot. 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 L O T E. I can't spell in my head when it's on paper or on the on the computer. It's oh absolutely man. fine. My oh god. <laughs> All right, Christian. Podcast. Uh, you have a chance to redeem yourself. <laughs> How am I gonna redeem myself? Uh, <laughs> I already misspelled it. <laughs> w A R P. We need to we need to warp up. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's warp it up. <laughs> oh, speaking of uh, speaking of warp, has anyone heard anything about the new uh, Star Trek movie? No. Oh, the J J Abrams again. Hey, J oh, J yeah. Abrams also doing the um, Star Wars trilogy. Yeah, he is. Seven eight nine. The seven eight really? nine. I thought Disney was doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they signed the, up J J Abrams. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. So Disney is <laughs> uh, producing the uh, the new trilogy seven, eight, nine, and from what I'm what I hear, they're actually going to be producing um, origin movies as well. Origin. So movies. it's not just the three movies Wait. seven, eight, and nine, but it's going to be uh, one-off movies like zero, like the origin of Han Solo. Oh, and it's gonna it's gonna give backstory to. Is that with Harrison Ford too? <laughs> yeah, I young, think so. Young Han Solo. I think so. Yeah, and they got um young Harrison Han Solo. Ford, young Han Solo. Be a man. <laughs> so because I think what they're trying to do is something along the lines like the Avengers, how they had individual movies like Iron Man, Thor, and oh, each of the characters had yeah. their own story, uh, their own movie. So the the That's story going to be doing with the uh, the characters from Star Wars. So Han Solo the movie is just him shooting first, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be walking. <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> uh, it's gonna be one and a half hours of him walking and just go. <laughs> yeah. I always shoot first, <laughs> and that's that's the whole movie. <laughs> I feel like we yeah we need to uh, you, know, you know warp this thing up. Yeah, I think we gotta warp it. All right, let's let's warp up then. <laughs> Any, anything else before we uh, before we warp up? 
Uh, really well, first of all, I'd like to uh, have oh. you spell something for Actually, me. Actually, hold on, hold on. Before we warp up, uh, <laughs> since, since we're warping up anyways, um, there's a channel that I follow on YouTube. It's called Vsauce. V Vsauce. Vsauce. And uh, this will be in the link dump as well. But they actually which channel? One, two, or three? I think it's Vsauce one, uh, because it's a sciencey one. Um, but they actually went into the science of uh, light speed and the warp. And if anyone actually watched Star Trek, and you know when you they go into warp drive, you see the stars zooming past you. That's actually not what it would look. Oh at, lo- yeah, that's not what it would look like at all. Yeah, and they actually awesome. ran a simulation of what it's supposed to look like. So my my childhood is a lie. The yeah. entire time I thought I'd see you know stars zooming by. No, it's blue. just it's something completely different, and I don't want to spoil it too much because it, it blew my mind when I when I first saw it. So it'll is be that the, the it'll same it'll one with the black hole as well. Yeah, it's that one too. Okay, I think. so it'll be on the link dump. Uh, go ahead and follow those in the description as well. All right, I'm hungry. Me too. All righty, guys. <laughs> um, this is a pretty fun podcast. This is my first one, and I uh, and I yeah, looking forward to day. coming in to these things in the future. Yeah, hopefully you could stay long enough for uh, for all these. Yeah, it's all right, <laughs> so this was the OCD podcast. Um, number two. Num- episode number two. Out of three. <laughs> Be sure to visit our Facebook at facebook.com slash Orange County Degenerates for all uh, information regarding shows, music, podcasts, and Let's Plays. It's going to be our hub of information. Uh, make sure that you also visit... Our other, s- our other social media uh, networks. Um, OCDegenerates.tumblr.com and um, what is it? Twitter.com slash OCDegenerates. So as we were saying before, uh, EJ is in charge of our Tumblr and Twitter, so you'll be, uh, you'll be hearing from him a lot if you follow those social media networks. Uh, Dotson, for the most part, Hi. he takes care of our Facebook, and Nathan takes care of YouTube. our YouTube for the most part. As for me, when it comes to actual face-to-face interaction, you'll probably running it, uh, be running into me as well. Uh, I'm not really the media uh, person. Not as much as I should be. Not a wizard, are you? No. You're a wizard, Christian. Muggle. <laughs> All right. So anyways, wow. take care. <laughs> 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 All right. Wow. You should have just called him a mudblood. That's what you wanted to say. Wow. I could see it in your eyes. Racist. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, take care, guys. Hope to see. Oh, well, hope. Whatever. <laughs> hope to, <laughs> to make you hope listen to me so again. <laughs> Catch y'all later. So this is the OC. Fuck. <laughs> this is the OC. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, here we go. This is the OCD podcast signing out. Off. You're a. <laughs>